December 28th. I cut my leg. If you haven't seen that video, click here somewhere. I'll link it. But this is my first outing since. It's mid-February right now. Uh, it's a beautiful day. I could have made it out before now, leg-wise, injury-wise. I've been uh, feeling kind of ready to go for a few weeks now, but I just haven't had the time. So I'm pretty excited to be out this morning. Leg is feeling good. I've been uh, slowly working back into the gym. Things are great. I did misjudge the weather a little bit. It's a bit colder than I was expecting, so I'm dressed down a bit. A bit more than I should be. I'm on snowshoes this morning, but uh, this time of year, man, it's just uh, springtime. The cross gets on top of the snow. It's the easiest time of, uh, of the year, period, for walking, for making, making ground. Because uh, but even in the summer, when you don't have any snow to wade through, you have bushes, you have undershrub and things like that. This time of year, just take a look at that forest I'm about to walk into. There's nothing down. I'm not sinking any more than this right here. A couple inches. So it's just perfect. You're not hooking up in sticks or shrubs. You just glide along on top of the surface. Heading in for some lunch. Like I said, it's been a little while. Got some new gear to show you. It'll be in a separate video. You'll see a little bit in this video. Hope you enjoy, guys. We had a we had a massive snowstorm this week, as, as did much of the Atlantic or Maritime provinces up in Nova Scotia, up around Halifax, I believe. They got upwards of 75 centimeters of snow in the length of a day, day and a half, around these parts where I am, eastern Newfoundland. We got uh, oh, upwards of 60, 60 plus centimeters of snow, I believe. So everything is certainly buried. Snow's getting a little bit softer in around here. Find some, uh, find a decent location, hopefully find some materials, see if we can get a fire going. Just look how cool these branches look here behind me. Laden down with snow. Just gorgeous. Love to see it. It's been too long since I've been out. A couple months, like I said. <sighs> Feels good. Hope my skills are still up to par. I'm going to need them, I guess, today with the... Uh, Notice how wet and, and snowed in all the materials are. I didn't bring anything with me uh, dry. I might have a little bit of tinder there. A little small bit of birch or something, but not really any birch in this area I'm in either. We'll see. I didn't expect it to be near this much snow around, uh, around the woods. I figured given the, the time of the year and it seems like around town everything is cleaned up nice. Chosen a little spot here without much canopy so there's a bit of wind today so I'm hoping that uh, I don't get too much raining down on me. Brought my wetlings out today. This will be the first time swinging an axe since my incident. It's not really bothering me. Of course I'm going to be extra careful. Ooh, got a little wiggle in our head. you look at that? Hmm. Gonna have to soak it in some oil. I won't give it too much use today. Soak it in some oil. I keep my axes in the house, so just dried up a bit for sure. Soak it for a couple days. It's fine to use. Got a beautiful shaving edge on it. Like I said, gonna be extra careful. Got an updated first aid kit. I haven't, uh, haven't done any talking on it yet because I'm trying to work out some ideas for a series. I want to make it special. I want to do a good series and do it right. So I'm not just diving in and uh, throwing the information out there. I'd rather do it nice. I've been uh, talking with some different people. So we'll see what happens. That's all I'm going to say about that for now. Got my first aid kit there. 
Nothing will happen. I'll be careful, but it just plays on your mind a little more. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna get a few sticks, maybe a, a few boughs for a base. See if I can find some uh, dry enough material. So I changed my mind after. I used uh, my Baco. This is a Baco Expert, basically the lap blender, just the orange in the orange model. Uh, I used a saw instead because. With that wiggle in my axe head, I don't want to be jarring it and beating up the wood fibers there. I don't want to spoil my handle. So I opted to not use my axe today. So I won't have swung an axe yet. And my little saw will do the job anyway. So no need to do an unnecessary damage. As much as I wanted to use my saw, I wish I had to check that out before I left home. I guess the lesson learned in this case is Make sure you don't just grab your gear and leave. Make sure you check things over. Check your knife, make sure it's sharp. Check your axe, make sure the handle's secure. Make sure it's sharp. Check your fire kit. Did you remove your ferro rod? Or is it still in there? You know, if you're like me, you're always playing around with gear and stuff at home might want to check make sure it's still in there lesson learned okay I'm limited on materials here I'll open up my fire kit I'm not sure what I have in here okay not a lot got a few pieces of birch I've broken down a lot of the smaller stuff I have into even smaller stuff a lot of the small sticks I had I carved feathers on just to make them a little more uh, eager to accept to accept a little bit of flame. Knife back in sheath, ferro rod back in your ferro loop right away. Don't risk losing that stuff. I won't lie to you, I've been here nursing this little fire for probably at least a half hour and uh, just babying it, babying it, a little bit of birch and a little bit of birch and a few more sticks and carve off a few feathers and just taking it forever to get to this point. And it's still not much of a fire. It's starting to build up enough heat where it'll uh, it'll dry out material on its own. So it's starting to become self-sustainable, but taking a long time. If I was under the pressure of, say, trying to survive in here, uh, I don't know if I would have got it. It might have been a cold night. I'm going to soon, I'm going to give it a few more minutes, let it burn up, build a little more heat there, and then, uh, then we're going to get some dinner on. Let's take a look at what we got. For lunch, we're cooking up something I really love. Y'all know I love my Mr. Noodles. And in the container beneath, we have some barbecued chicken breasts, all diced up, done at home. Uh, the way myself and my wife do it, I just uh, cook a whole box of chicken breasts on the grill at once, and then put it back, and I have it for the week, making taking lunches and stuff to work. I have my lovely little mini cast iron pan here. This is an eight inch. Love this thing. Perfect for in a pack. Get a little bit of water in that pan just to cook down the noodles. This is what I'm making here now. It's not just a woods meal. It's something I definitely make up at home, and fairly often. So we're up to a pretty hot pan there now, and a pretty good boil. That's what we're dumping in there. 
some nice grilled chicken breast seasoned on the outside done with a, a chicken and rib seasoning. That is going to be good. Oh, I might have brought a little bit much. <laughs> put it in there now before all the water has gone out just so it can start heating up. Notice my fire is getting pretty low there now. Just nice for cooking. Lots of heat, not a lot of flame to burn up my nice little pan. Guys, a finished look. Those nice big pieces of chicken in there. Oh boy, that's gonna be good. Let's give it a try. Boy, that's good. Hot. And the handle on my pan is a little bit hot now too. I tell you that hot food feels good out here like this. It's a lot colder than I was expecting today. I don't even know what the temperature was, but it felt very nice and mild around home. Here beating around the woods with the snow like this. Snow is down your neck, falling down your back every tree you touch. It's an awful mess, but it's a lot of fun. It's also uh it's so nice to see the trees so laden down with snow. It's just just beautiful. Boy, that was good. A delicious, delicious meal. I've had some good meals in the woods, I tell you. I'm uh, pretty fortunate. Last few years, all the time I've spent in. Bush cooking is one of my favorite aspects of getting out. I love, uh, I love the hiking part. I love the fire building. I love uh, just sitting and enjoying nature, but I really love cooking outside. It's a lot of fun. And who doesn't like to eat good food, right? And it can be as simple as just a tea, maybe even a biscuit, right up to, excuse me, I've done uh, steaks, stir fries, uh, I've done chicken, I've done all kinds of stuff. And myself and Ray Bartlett, if you want to check out this video here, myself and Ray Bartlett done uh, made pizza from scratch, dough and everything in the woods. I highly recommend this video, it just came to my mind. Uh, fantastic. If you haven't seen it, click on it and watch it. If you have seen it, wouldn't hurt you to watch it again. Give me a little extra views. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you're curious about the knife I have here, I'm sure you've noticed it in the video, uh, click, click the video that's up on the screen there now. It's uh, a new knife I have. I'll tell you about it sure some of you will be interested. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Leave me some nice comments or whatever you want to say. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.